I don't know about you, but I've been holding off on getting ChatGPT4. I'm kind of wondering as to whether or not it's actually worth spending 20 bucks a month on something that I could essentially get for free. But so yesterday I decided to take the punch and go ahead and get it. So today we're going to be looking at is it worth paying for chat GPT-4? So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry, I'm from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon, so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right guys, let's go check it out. First of all, I thought, let's have a look at the pros and cons of each version. And then we'll get in and actually give them both a bit of a test. So let's have a look at this. We'll start off with the cons. First of all, the free version gives you limited access when it's at peak time. Meaning that sometimes you can't actually get access to it and lots of people are actually on the system at the same time. So you're actually limited on how much use you can actually get with it when it's at peak time. It also has limited capabilities and limited functions, which are lessened by the paid version. For the pros, it does have access outside of the peak time. It's available to everyone who doesn't have the means financially to be able to purchase the premium version. Just like the paid version, the free version understands what's been written and responds appropriately, generating human-like text. Plus, it's a great learning tool. It's a great tool for students and early stage developers to learn and experiment without financial investment. Now let's have a look at the pros and cons of the paid version. Okay, let's have a look at the cons. Well, the primary downside for the paid version is the cost. Even though it's only $20 USD, that could be outside of their realm of financial capabilities in some cases. The next con, people can become too dependent upon GPT-4 because it's such a powerful tool. There is a risk of becoming overly dependent upon it and not being able to put your own personality and style into it. And three, it also has the same core limitations as 3.5. Things like a lack of creativity, the risk of errors. But what are the pros? The pros are, during peak time, you get access to the premium service. There's no downtime. Plus, it's also faster. Allowing you access to the full capabilities of ChatGPT4. Plus, you get priority customer support when you're in the paid version. Let's go and have a look at ChatGPT 3.5 versus ChatGPT 4. First, a word from our sponsor. If you're looking for a voiceover for your next project, why not consider an AI voice generator and text-to-speech platform called Lovo? It uses realistic AI voices that will captivate your audience. Lovo is the go-to AI voiceover generator and text-to-speech platform for over half a million creators, saving them 90% of their time and budget. Experience the full power of cutting edge text to speech, online video editor, AI voices, AI art, and an AI writing generator that delivers premium results for your next project. With over half a million users, you know you're in good company. You can use Lovo for advertising, education, explainer videos, YouTube videos, corporate training, audiobooks, podcasts, social media, product demos, and customer service IVR. Let's go inside Lovo, and I'll introduce you to Jenny. Jenny is feature-rich and gives you unparalleled voiceover production powered by realistic AI voices. Not only that, but you now have the power to not only produce professional videos with realistic human-sounding voices, you can even use Jenny's AI writer to create your video or audio script. It includes a powerful, easy to use video editor so that you don't have to use multiple softwares to get your video produced. You can even use their AI art generator to create original images to include in your videos. Jenny from Lovo allows you to be able to select over 100 different voices from around the world. So why would you want to use AI voiceovers instead of real human voices? Number one, if the language you're using isn't your main language? You can use Lovo's AI voiceovers to give you a native sounding voice that suits that country's audience. Number two, it's faster than trying to use your own voice or hiring a voiceover artist to create the voiceover. Number three, you don't have to re-record your voice every time you make a mistake. And number four, it's cheaper than hiring a professional voiceover artist. At the moment, 
Lurgo has a special 50% discount for a limited time. Grab a yearly pro account for a whopping 50% off. Right now, you can join Lovo for only $24 a month when you grab the yearly subscription. Link is in the description down below. So grab Lovo today. I know you'll love it as much as I do. Okay, well to make it fair, what I've decided to do is to use the same prompt for both ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT3. This one here says, my name is Henry Webster and I run a YouTube channel called Product Creation Formula. Please write a detailed YouTube script about, is it worth paying for ChatGPT4? Please give pros and cons of paying for it. Please write it in a friendly and casual voice. I am 59 years old, so please write it in an age appropriate way. Please don't give production cues. Don't use the words host or my name on any of the paragraphs. At the end of the video, ask people to subscribe because I have only a couple of hundred subscribers to go to get 10,000 subscribers. So yes, just to let you know that I am on the verge of reaching 10,000 subscribers. And if, if you haven't already subscribed, please be kind enough to do so. That'd be awesome, thank you. Also, ask them to like and hit the bell icon so they can be notified when we upload more videos. So that is the prompt I'm gonna be using for this particular one. So I'm just gonna copy that. And we're gonna be adding that straight into ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version. So we're just gonna click on there and we're gonna hit that. And all we have to do is hit enter. Now, we'll also, I'll keep it at real time just to see how long it actually takes to create this. So, I'll just have a quick look. It's still going, which is okay. And then we'll go over to the paid version and we'll put the same prompt in and see whether or not it has, if it's faster or anything like that. I should have timed it. Okay, so that's a decent length article. So it gives conclusion, cons, okay, pros. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so let's go and have a look at the ChatGPT4. So to do that, all I have to do is just click on that, and that immediately puts me in there. So I'm just gonna go Control V. We're gonna paste that exact same cue straight in there, and we just have to hit Enter. Now we'll have a look and see how much faster this is, or whether it's faster at all. Oh yeah, you can tell it's, it's actually typing it much faster. Yeah, now look at that. That's substantially faster than what the previous one was. And we'll have a look and check to see whether the quality is any different or whether it's the same. Okay, so as you can see, it created a well, decent length article as well. So let's compare the two. This one here, which was done by 3.5. Now what I want to do is I want to do the word count. I want to copy all of this and we'll check it out in a Word document and we'll check out the word count on this and see what it comes up as. Okay, I'm just going to paste this straight into here. Doesn't matter if it's got the black outline. Click on that down there, we go to review. We go over here to word count. It comes up with 608 words. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that. And what we'll do is start up a new page and we'll then put the ChatGPT4 version into here and see what sort of length of article it created for us. So let's shrink those down and we'll go to the paid version and see if it's created a longer article for us. Looks like it's pretty close to being about the same length. So let's have a quick look. Control V go down to here again just make sure it's right behind the letters go over here to review go here to word count it's actually less words that's surprising now let's have a look at the quality we'll start with a 3.5 version first we'll just read the first paragraph and we'll go from there hey there folks welcome back to product creation formula i'm excited to talk about something really interesting today you might have heard about ChatGPT4, the latest version of open ai's language model the big question on everyone's mind is is it worth paying for in this video, we'll dive deep into the pros and cons of investing in this advanced AI tool. Okay, so that's where I'm just going to leave it at that. And we'll go over here to ChatGPT4 and have a look and see whether or not written it up in a similar way or whether it's better. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Product Creation Formula channel. I'm so glad you could join us today. And boy, do we have an interesting topic to dive into. Today, we're talking about something that's been buzzing in the tech business world. Open AI's language model, ChatGPT4. The question is, is it worth paying for? Well, let's dive in and figure it out. Well, that was actually more concise and to the point. Both were very friendly and both really did get into what you wanted to say. Personally, I actually preferred the way this wrote it. By the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing because we're just a couple of hundred subscribers away from hitting the awesome 10,000 milestone. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Okay, so this is in, this included that part in the beginning. Now, I want to find out whether that included that at the end of the other one, because that'd be interesting to see if, if it missed it out. 
Oh, no, there it is at the very end. All right, so yeah, that, that, they did include that, but they added that at the very end. So far, what's my verdict? My verdict is, so far, I actually prefer the free version so far. But, you know, if you rewrite it again, let's just redo that script again. Let's do that again. And we'll put that prompt back in there again and see if it writes it differently or see how well it writes it. Might read it, write it completely differently. It might. Or we can just hit regenerate response. Now, this is the chat GPT-4 version, as you can see up here, GPT-4. Let's now regenerate the response and let it regenerate a response for us. See how it's bolding these words up? That's not something the free version does. That's that's pretty good. I like that. And can you copy that? Yes. Okay, this is really good so far. It appears to be less words though. Bigger gaps, less words. So let's have a quick look here. I'll copy all of this and we'll do another check on and see what where it's at. Now remember this is ChatGPT4. Let's copy that and see how it goes. I'm going to put that into my Word document and we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling it's going to be way less text. Control V, word count. Hmm, that's, in, that's actually really disappointing. Now let's go over to the free version and we'll refresh the page on the free version and see what it does. So we'll go back over here and we'll get it to redo the response. Regenerate response and see what it comes up with. Now I'm letting this run at actual time. I'm choosing not to edit this part out because I don't want to make it that will give you false expectations as to how long it takes. So yeah, but it seems to be writing a lot more content, to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, this has definitely written more content than the previous one, than, than ChatGPT4 did. And let's just copy all of that. We'll go over to ChatGPT4 version of this one and we'll see what that's like. We'll just go back and get rid of that and we'll paste that straight into here. Take that across to the end of it and we'll see how many words it's come up with. There you go, 627 words. Still more than the first one. So, I actually have a conclusion here. After just these two little bits here, is it worth getting the paid version? If you're in the US, it may be worth getting the paid version if it keeps kicking you out of the free version or if it doesn't let you get access to the free version but because i'm in australia i rarely actually ever hit the peak period for chat gpt 3.5 so is it worth paying for the plus version i don't actually think so i think the plus version is not as good i have had some good things from the from the plus version from today's test and from what i can see Although the plus version has got some benefits to it, I don't know if that's worth $20 a month to me. I mean, it does look prettier. I'll give it that. And it does look like it's you know, more concise and to the point, which is great. But I can always change that myself if I really want to. I would just say that I think I prefer ChatGPT 3.5. And I think I'll cancel my ChatGPT 4 subscription. All right, guys. Hey, guys, you reckon you'd be able to do us a favor? We're only a couple of hundred subscribers away from reaching 10,000 subscribers, and it'd be really awesome if I could hit that by the end of the month. If you'd be willing to help us out with that, that'd be excellent. Anyway, if you got some value out of this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing, and also hitting the bell icon, so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing, and also leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think of the paid version compared to the free version. Also, Right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.